Welcome back to Franchise Hockey Manager 10. This is Club 2, Part 5 of the Journeyman Save. We are here with the Regina Pats in the WHL. We've got a few more games left. Let's see if we can get playoff bound. So we have returned with seven games left of the regular season. Currently at the moment we're sitting at 15th in the league. We have got 60 points. We've got a couple of points spare on Saskatoon, but they do have a game in hand. So really we might be about one point short. And then Swift Current, Everett, Tri-City, Kalawana, might be mispronouncing that. Wenatchee and Edmonton, they are, I mean, in theory, I think all but Tri-City, well, Tri-City and above may catch us but we really got to just keep an eye on saskatoon blades our schedule moving forwards is absolutely full of rivalry matches so we've got the moose jaw here we do have the saskatoon blades here and here and moose jaw there and there so out of the seven remaining games five of them are rivalries i think what we're going to do is we'll probably sim forward a few we will come back i think for the home game against saskatoon and we'll probably see out the season by actually watching the Moose Jaw game. Well, that's not what I needed, was it? After sustaining an eye infection, Carter Sovereign of the Pats is expected to miss roughly seven days. The injury, an eye infection, happened during today's practice. So I think somebody's given him pink eye. Sovereign is unfortunately one of our better players on the team in a position that we are massively struggling in. So uh, yeah, not having him for the Moose Jaw game is gonna be a problem. Yeah, it was close, but as expected, 5-4 loss to the Moose Jaw. And that is just great. It looks like uh, Sovereign has now given it to his defensive partner, Calendar, who admittedly isn't half as good, but he's another defender in a position that we do struggle with. But that doesn't stop us from getting a massive 9-6 win over the Edmonton Oil Kings, which at this point, it kind of feels like we're just stamping on them a little bit. The poor things at the very bottom of the league, they are struggling to get wins. Uh, they replaced their manager a little while back. He's obviously not doing amazingly well, but a 9-6 win keeps our playoff dreams alive. Well, this is a bit of interesting news. So Trey Johnson suffered a concussion today in a game against the Prince Albert Raiders. He's going to miss three weeks with a concussion. A grade one concussion, so out of all the concussions you could possibly get, not the worst. But we play them. We have the double header coming up in a couple of days' time. And he is their second best player and their best left winger. All right, I'll put my hands up. I probably jinxed that one. We've just played the first game against Saskatoon. We won it quite emphatically at 6-3. And um, yeah, Braden uh, Smith has gone out with back soreness. Now he's 18, he's got a sore back. Enough that he needs to have some time off. Not just some time off, a couple of weeks off for a sore back. So with Smith out of the picture for today's game against Saskatoon Blades, this is going to be how we line up. So our first line is Brown, Temple, Nilsson. Then we have Shantz, Jones, Alman. Third line is Burlock, Dak and Kristonovic. Fourth line is Miga, Gillespie and Paiju. For our defence, we've got Kowachuk and Elaine, Makaris and Penova, Root, Woodard, Hunter and Callender. So let's see how we do in game number two. And we won. Hey, 5-4. We managed to get, let's have a look. Yeah, so we knew about him. Keller had a broken hand, that's fine. We didn't know about Elaine. Looks like we lost Elaine as well. Okay, well that's not good. We've now gone and lost our right wing, Alman. He has suffered a mild abdominal strain, which is gonna put him on the bench for a few days at least. Team officials said that the injury was sustained when going down away from the play, but is thought to be minor. So if we have a look at our roster now, so we have Smith off still, he's day to day, but he's off. Elaine has got a thigh muscle strain, so he's now off, and Ullman is now off. So we've got a left defender, a right defender, and a right wing off. We have the final game of the season in about two days. I don't know whether or not any of these three will be fit enough to play by them. Uh, we also had this. The media have criticized Woodard after the recent loss against the Prince Albert Raiders. Now, Prince Albert are a team that are um, significantly better than us at the moment. 
So a loss was kind of to be expected, but if we do have a look at his game by game, his last game wasn't brilliant at all. 47 game, 36 defensive rating for a defender. It's not brilliant. So I think we are going to agree with that criticism and uh, he can get a grumpy on. Yeah, see, he's got a grumpy on. But what we're going to do is we are going to sim forward. We will get to the third period of the Moose Jaw game and let's see how we get on on the last day of the season. All right then, before we jump into the Moose Jaw game, I just wanted to quickly bring your attention to the stakes behind it. At the moment, we are third and fourth of the Eastern Division, both on 67 points. So the winner of that will jump up to 69 and take third place in the division. We have a look at the league. Now we are safe, Saskatoon cannot top us, so we have got a minimum of 15th place, but we could possibly move up to 14th with a win as well. So third, fourth in the division, 14th, 15th in the actual league is up for grabs. So let's see you in the third. Oh, well, blimey, look at this. It is the end of the first. They have massively outshot us, but we are up 2-0. Uh, they are not having a good game. It looks like currently they have not turned up. Uh, so that's in our advantage. But uh, yeah, unless anything super exciting happens, we'll be back in the third. So we are back literally seconds before the second period ends. Because I have absolutely no idea how that goal just went in. It went right from their other crease, shot all the way down the, the rink. And my goalie didn't even go for it. I don't know what happened there, but it's 2-4. Um, yeah, and someone's going to uh, someone's going to get a tell into in the halftime talk. All right then, so here we go. Third period has started. We're on the power play. We're going left. Pavo has just duped past our guy. And now puts it to within one. That's not good. We're now potentially watching the inevitable collapse of the Pats. Come on. Back for some reason has decided to... Since we even... I, I don't even know. If Temple can get it back. We can do something. We've got enough players on the puck. That's fine. We've got 15 minutes. It is all them at the moment. Cloud has it and shoots. We do make the save though, which is great. We go for another face off. Temple has it. If he wants to just move it. And Jones was just open there. And they've tied it up. They have tied it up. Oh, blimey. I think we're about to throw this game away. All right, come on, Glisby. Thank you very much. So, Jones decided to have a little break, which is nice. If you can keep moving to the left. Move up the rink, that's it. Nelson has it on its own. No. Let's see what we can do from here. So we're on the blue line. They have it. I think they're banging on the door for another one here. Just got to hold them out. I was about to say, we just need to hold them off for another eight minutes, but no. So it's gone 5-5. Five, five. I'm going to be so disappointed if we end up losing this. Uh, did the goalie just decide to go and change as they were on the attack? I'm fairly certain that is what I just saw. Yeah, Selms is out, so they literally just changed the goalie on me. What? Oh, I think I need to find my coach. I can understand now why the uh, the team blamed me for everything. Oh, that is so disappointing. <laughs> oh, that is so, so disappointing. I think we might need to try and replay that in slow motion. They ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. All right then, so let's wrap up today's episode. Let's have a look and see who the award nominees are. Then we'll have a look and see who we're playing in the playoffs. And then I'm going to go and have a cry after watching that game again. 
So, the four Broncos Memorial Trophy. Let's have a look. McKenna, Shergut, and Anderson. So, none of ours. For the Dell Wilson, we've got Esla, Maluaka, and Ratslav. None of ours again. For the Bill Hunter, Rudolph, Granberg, and Anderson. That's, that's my player from the last save. It's nice to see him, but it's also not nice to see him. For the Jim Pigger, we've got Esla, Moniex and Lynn, none of ours. For Lloyd Saunders, we've got Curtis Hunt, Philippe Boucher, and Scott Carter. For the Brad Hornberg, we have got one of ours, I've seen the red name, Emmett Finney, Oliver Took, and Ryan Watson. For the Dunk McCallum, we have got Zombo, Guard, and Wong, and apparently Brainsmith will be back sooner rather than later. That's Great, that could have helped us a little bit earlier than that. But uh, yeah, let's wrap things up. Let's see who we have in the playoffs, shall we? We have got the... <laughs> My old team. Oh, yeah, we're gonna play the Medicine Hat Tigers who uh, had an absolutely storming season. I think next episode's gonna be short. Join us then. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you later.